hello my dear subscribers here we have one awesome infographic design with animations so let's see how you can create this infographic template by yourself i hope you will like this infographic design So first here I'm using layout blank, then here I'm inserting one image, Then I'm cropping this image aspect ratio 16 to 9. Here I'm going to colors, so I will use this one. Dark blue. Then I'm cutting this. Then on format background, I'm, I'm using picture and clipboard. And then here you have artistic effects. I'm using a little bit of blur right click on the mouse and you can go to format background and then I'm inserting this circle hollow shape no outline as you can see I'm making this circle a little bit larger and I'm moving it below I'm centering it and moving it below and then I will insert this rectangle because I want to cut this part which is below so holding the shift key you can select rectangle circle and on merge shapes go on subtract then I change color for this circle it's white then I'm inserting another circle shape. Here I'm using gradient fill as you can see for the shape fill. Then I'm inserting hollow circle shape, no outline, shape fill will be white and I'm moving it as you can see around this circle shape. So this one with gradient fill is inside this hollow circle. Then I'm just inserting here text box with some description. And I'm moving this text box inside this circle. Now holding the shift key, I'm selecting these two circles and I'm just duplicating them with Ctrl plus D. And here I'm just adjusting this hollow circle shape to be thicker, as you can see. Then I'm holding shift key, as you can see, to select both of them and I'm grouping them into one group. So now I have these little beautiful circles. I'm duplicating them with Ctrl plus D and I'm moving them around this half circle. Now I'm just moving them closer to this half circle.
then I'm inserting the line shape outline will be white weight I'm changing weight and I'm using here a little bit of dashes so here I will just connect every circle shape as you can see with this line and with the main circle here so I'm just duplicating with Control plus D these lines and I'm moving them around this infographic design circle as you can see I've, I have a choose the line shape which has arrow on one side on this line as you can see so you have in insert, in insert tab with shapes you have plenty of lines so you can choose which one will fit your design so in the important thing here is for this arrow to be seen here So in this stuffs with design everything must be symmetrical because everything is in little details. So the first part is finished. After this, I'm inserting some icons here, so I can move those icons inside those little circles. I'm changing graphics fill white for these icons. I'm adjusting the width and height for them a little bit smaller, so it can fit inside this circle. Then I'm selecting the circle shape with the icon and I'm grouping them with Ctrl plus G into one group. The next step is inserting text box with some description because each circle shape with this icon will have its own description. Here it will be the same description of course, but you can change it to your template or design or something. So I'm just duplicating with Ctrl plus D. And you can easily change description here. Now the main part is animations. Before that, as you can see, I just grouped this infographic design circle into one group. So I'm applying for that main circle fly in animation a little bit of bow send 
and for this half circle i'm using wipe animation here in effect options you can choose from right from left from bottom from top for these lines i'm also using wipe animation So you need to be careful here because everything also is in dynamic in presentation not to be too short not to be too long so here in delay option it's the best way is to have everything on paper to calculate and then you can just type it easily here i mean for now of course you can follow my presentation but you can use your duration, your delay option, or some other effect options too. Then for this little circles around this half circle, I've used for them fly in animation. You can choose in effect options from top or from left, from right, wherever you want. Then for text boxes, I'm using the float in animation so the important thing here is to use properly duration delay option and in effect option a little bit of pause and so it's up to you how will you use the animations and effect options so you can follow my steps guys and create the same template or different so guys that's it for this video i hope you will like this video honestly and thank you guys so much for your support stay tuned and hear you soon guys in my next video take care guys